Hello, Big Lee here doing a review of this camera for your car. You notice that at the very top it has its own proprietary um, mount for the suction cup. It comes with some accessories, a long USB cable and short USB cable. It doesn't have any mounts to guide your long USB cable along the windshield. Um, there's two things that you gotta take note of. The resolution has 2K, um, not 2K. It's 1080p, but it's super wide. It's 21-9. You see the black bars of the screen? That's due to that. Or 16-9 six, at 1200k at 30 uh, frames per second. This is the fastest one, 45 frames per second at 1080p and HDR for night mode and 30p. So this is a, a camera for good for night vision. I would say right now, this is pretty good. I'm only lit up by one light here in the kitchen and it's fairly good. Let's see if this, I wish it had bigger frames, larger frames per second, like 60 frames per second because I'm in a fast moving car. Uh, if you're going at the same speed as traffic, that wouldn't be much of an issue. Um, it turns on automatically when you turn on the ignition, which is great. It has motion detect or park mode so that it starts recording when it detects something. So in case someone's t doing some damage to your car, it will record that. Um, what I see, also take note that the, you see the, the lens is protruding a lot beyond the actual lens case. So you gotta be careful with the surrounding ring. You gotta be careful, you don't put the camera down on the ground like that, otherwise you'll scratch it up. It has a HD out. This is a mini HDI. And let's see. Yes, that's the TF holder. There's one thing I did not like, which was the the viewing angle. So let me just turn this back on again. So the viewing angle is if you view to the right, view to the left. Actually, you can't see all the colors. For some reason, if you view to you see how it's it's washed out. And if you view at the bottom, it's okay. If you view at the top, it gets washed out, but that's okay because you normally mount it at the very top of your dash mirror. But the view on the left is what bothers me because I'm usually sitting on the left side. And on the right side is actually okay. So bottom and right is okay. I mean, this is not good for European driving, which is what I normally would use the dash cam for. Yeah, so it works for UK driving, so right and down, that's fine. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, that's pretty much it, it's very basic. You got four nice buttons in the front, very easy to access, and then you got the display functions here. It's just, this is the camera and that's the video. And that was what you saw was the playback on the menu. That was simple, um, I really like that. If you have any questions, comments, leave in the comment box below. Thank you.